Pride comes before a fall, we're frequently told, and at no time is a footballer more proud than when he or she has just scored a goal. Now, I could spin out something incredibly poetic for you by way of an introduction here, but I'm not going to. This is just a video of footballers celebrating scoring a goal and then things going immediately, comically, wrong for them. So put your feet up for a few minutes and have yourself a nice steaming hot cup of Schadenfreude. Number 10, Carlos Tevez versus River Plate. After notching a crucial goal in Boca Juniors' Copa Libertadores clash with arch rivals River Plate in 2004, Carlos Tevez did what anyone would do in that situation. He ripped off his shirt and flapped around dementedly performing a chicken dance in front of his teammates. The reason? Well, Boca fans refer to River Plate players as Galinas, or chickens as you call them, claiming their rivals lack guts and fighting spirit. The distinctly unimpressed referee deemed the celebration inflammatory and immediately red carded a crestfallen Tevez. However, the best bit of this by a mile is the fact that to explain his decision, the referee was forced to then recreate the little chicken dance, and well, that's just brilliant. Number nine, Robbie Fowler versus Everton. Any, um, any kids watching this? Yeah, okay, well, if this doesn't make sense, go ask your parents and enjoy their faces. Relentlessly taunted by Everton fans who alleged he was fond of the, uh, the old Bolivian marching powder in his spare time. <laughs> Liverpool striker Fowler celebrated scoring against them by getting down on all fours and pretending to hoover a line of cocaine off the touchline. Boy, the, the 90s were a time, weren't they? Teammate Steve McManaman quickly pulled him to his feet, but the damage was already done. And I mean, fair play to manager Gerard Houllier here, who genuinely tried to cover for Fowler by saying he was merely imitating a cow eating grass. Astonishingly, the authorities didn't buy that and banned him for four games. Number 8, Nikolai Muller, Augsburg. In 2017, the Hamburg winger was enjoying a dream start to life in the Bundesliga. he just scored a goal in the 8th minute to put his side 1-0 up at Augsburg, but mere seconds later, managed to rule himself out of action for 7 months. How, you ask? Why, after rupturing his anterior cruciate ligament, celebrating a goal, of course, how else? Having volleyed home the only goal of the game, the 29-year-old insisted on performing a frankly ludicrous series of balletic pirouettes. As he landed following the final twist, Muller fell to the ground in agony. Now look, I don't like laughing at an actual injury here, that must suck, but spinning around like that while wearing boots designed to stick in the ground had explosive knee injury written all over it. Next time, I'll probably just shake the guy's hands, he said ruefully afterwards. Number 7, Edison Cavani versus Lon. Yeah, so the big lad here was one of three players to be sent off in PSG's 3-1 win over Lon in 2014. He was first booked for celebrating his goal in front of their raucous fans with his trademark gun slash arrow thing celebration, before then receiving a second yellow for remonstrating about it with the referee. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm sure there's something objectionable about it, but he'd been doing that celebration for years and has continued to do so for years afterwards. So you can sort of understand why he found that booking to be stupid in the extreme. Still though, wasn't the referee's only contribution to the game, managing to completely lose his handle on an ill-tempered encounter and send off two long players on top of this. Refs, eh? Number 6, Diogo versus FC Schaffhausen. Really funny this one, as he didn't even score the goal. In December 2004, this man, Diogo, laid on a little assist for Jean Beausajour in the 87th minute. Gleeful at his contribution, he then jumped onto the metal fence, separating fans from pitch. Hurrah! Oh, they shouted at first. Oh god, oh god, no, that's disgusting, they shouted after. You see, his wedding ring got caught in the barrier, and as he jumped off the fence, most of his finger stayed with the ring, and not on his hand. No, god! No, god, please, no! 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 To rub salt in the wound, not literally mercifully, referee Florian Etter then penalised him with a yellow card for excessive time wasting. Rules are rules, I suppose, but said time wasting was because he was busy helping stewards search for his severed finger. And hey, while you're here, if this sort of footballing nonsense is your sort of thing, then why don't you nip down there and hit the old subscribe button for us? We're putting out both insightful and irreverent football content every single week here at 442, and would dearly, honestly, truly love to have you along for the ride. Anyway, number five, Sami and Nasri versus England. 
After Sami Nasri drilled a shot past Joe Hart during France's clash with England at Euro 2012, he ran towards the press box with his finger on his lips. It was a non-too-subtle dig aimed at French journalists, whom Nasri believed had been overly critical of him in the preceding months. And of course, rather than forcing them to take stock and wonder if maybe they've been too harsh on him, the inflammatory gesture simply made things a lot worse. After France lost to Spain in the quarterfinals, one French journalist hit him with a tough question, to which Nasri responded, You're looking for shit. You're looking for trouble. He then called the writer a son of a bitch and controversially quit international football at just 27. Told you. Number four, Kevin Londono versus Santa Fe. With Jaguars 1-0 up at Santa Fe in a Colombian top flight contest in 2017, Kevin Londono doubled his side's lead in the 71st minute. The goal was of high quality, but the celebration topped it. The 23-year-old laid down on a sponsor's mat by the goal and in double quick time, rolled himself up in it. The referee, very unimpressed by this, promptly punished him for the frippery. Again, right, if you are one of our younger viewers and you're looking at this thinking, well, what's the deal here? What's going on? Is this about sleeping bags? Does this guy love burritos? Then look, I understand your confusion. But this is, it's one for your parents, this, not me, I'm afraid. Oh, and if you do end up asking them about it, just don't, don't mention it was a 442 video. Okay, say it was on TikTok or something. Number three, Matt Ritchie versus Chelsea. Look right, you just hear the edited version of these videos, okay? You have no idea how many takes this took me to get through without laughing. You see, I was at this game and was sitting close enough to spot the aftermath. Long story short, Matt Ritchie hates corner flags. Don't know if it was something in his childhood, don't know if a fortune teller told him one would ultimately be his undoing and he just doesn't like taking chances, but he just, he hates them. Thus, when Isaac Hayden got a late improbable winner against Chelsea at St. James's Park, he joined the celebrations by booting the nearest one as hard as he could. I will need a scientist to explain precisely how what followed was possible, but it spun 360 degrees into the crowd and arrived perfectly horizontally, you see I can't do it, into this man's unprotected cock and balls. If he'd pulled it out the ground and javelined it, he couldn't have got the poor bloke any more flush in the dingle. Number two, Thierry Henry versus Chelsea. I've never actually had it confirmed either way if Henry was trying to mimic former Manchester United forward Lee Sharp's Elvis celebration here, but in my head canon, that's what it was. Anyway, after scoring against Chelsea one time, he grabbed the corner flag and used it as a mic stand. How cool, how suave, how hilarious that it then snapped back upright and smacked him full in the face. Forced to miss the restart, Henri required medical attention in order to regain his customary va va -voom, but, and I mean, as we've just seen, my friends, the face is absolutely not the worst place a corner flag can get you. And I'm just, I'm so sorry to that guy, but can we just see that again with the noise, please? Brilliant. Number one, Anderson Lopez versus Espulse. Given some of the big names on this list, you just know that if someone you've never heard of is in the number one spot, then it's going to be good, so yeah, watch this. Brazilian striker Anderson Lopez bags a massive goal in the J-League for his side, Considol, in their opening match of the season. Wanting to celebrate with the fans, because I mean, who wouldn't, he excitedly jumps over the nearest advertising hoarding, only to realize there is an incredibly steep drop on the other side. Now, what I personally really like about this is that from every single camera angle, he just completely vanishes down the other side, as if it's a yawning hole in the center of the earth. And if we just freeze it here, you can see the exact moment he realizes precisely what he's done. Now look, don't worry, he wasn't badly hurt, but landing in a 10-foot drop onto concrete in football boots must absolutely knack. And that's it. That's the video. Thank you so very much for watching and making it all the way till the end. Somebody's keen. While you're here, please do consider subscribing to the 442 YouTube channel. We've got loads of awesome football content dropping all through the week, as well as an amazing library of documentaries, player interviews, and performance guides as well. Until next time, though, thank you once again for watching. I do hope you enjoyed yourself, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.